Hey guys, guess who? Video number three for today. I uh, I felt like I had to make this video today and I'm not gonna say I didn't want to, but I actually, this is really hard in a way because I know that it is um, going to be emotional and I hate making videos where I just cry. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't think this is gonna be the eloquent cry as Jen Johnston calls it. I think it's gonna be the ugly cry. So if you don't wanna see that, you might wanna skip this video. Um, but I posted a video this morning of me weighing in, um, getting on the scale. It said 297.5, which means I'm well into Twonderland. And, um,. It's interesting because when I was on the Renew show, Permission No More had uh, asked a question which didn't actually make it on the show, but I did make a video response to it about what the most emotional moment had been in my journey. And I think that I said in that video response that I thought it was going to be this this moment um, or this day where I finally got to Twonderland. Um, and I was right. <laughs> I was right. I uh, have already cried about it like twice today. So what's new? Um, I'm going to try and explain as eloquently as I can what it is about getting under 300 pounds that's so meaningful to me. Um, I'm just, I'm starting to cry because I'm thinking about watching um, my very good friend, Michael May, or Michael VSG, make his Wonderland video. And one of the things that he talked about was his granddaughter and how his granddaughter wouldn't remember her fat grandpa. And I remember when he said that, I started to do the ugly cry because I'd already been crying through his whole video because he was crying and I was so happy for him. And But it affected me because I thought about my own children. My oldest is seven. Um, and so I'm sure that he will remember um, having a 460-pound mom. But my youngest just turned four. I don't know that he'll really remember me that way. And it's not just that, but it's my kids not having a morbidly obese mom anymore. You don't want your kids to have to get teased or go through stuff because of how you look as a parent. It's hard enough to be a kid without that. And I, I only weigh five pounds less than I did last week, and so nothing should have changed. But somehow I feel like everything has changed. I feel like everything is different. Because it's such a big number, you know? Your weight starts with three. I know there's so many people that I watch who start their journey under 300 pounds and who talk about getting close to 300 pounds and how that was their wake-up call and apparently it wasn't for me. I haven't weighed less than 300 pounds since I was 18 years old, I think. I might have even, I think I was 18. I'm 35. So this is the least I've weighed in 17 years. And I still have a long way to go. Don't get me wrong. I still have a long way to go. But I feel like when I made my 150 pound loss video, I talked about feeling like I fit in again to society, feeling more normal. Not feeling like a freak, not feeling like people were constantly staring at me, or whatever, or just judging, because I was morbidly obese, super morbidly obese, actually. And I just feel like being under 300 pounds, it just makes it all that much more apparent that things are changing. It's almost surreal. In my video this morning, I think my reaction might have sounded like I wasn't that excited. I, I think that was because, first, I, I was expecting to be under 300. I really was. I would have been extremely disappointed if I wasn't. 
Um, but it was just so surreal to see the two on the scale in front of my weight. When I've seen a three or a four for so long. And this is kind of my wonderland, to be honest, because I really hope I'm going to get to wonderland one day, but I'm not going to stay there. I really don't believe I'm going to end up maintaining under 200 pounds. You know, I've talked about this in other videos, so I'm not going to go through it again, but I don't believe that's going to happen. Um, and I'm okay with that. I just want to get <laughs> to wonderland just to see it one time. I'm okay with not weighing under 200 and maintaining over 200. So for me, my weight now starts with the same number that my goal weight starts with. I still have 90 pounds. Well, actually 87, 86 and a half, 87 and a half. I don't know. Um, pounds to go to my first goal, which is 210. And that may be my ultimate goal. I don't know. But this is it. I'm in that number. And so while I'm sure if and when I get to Wonderland, it will be an emotional moment, I somehow think this actually means more to me. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm really, I'm really struggling to find the words to explain what this is like, but, um, I hope, oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm such a mess right now, I did not want it to be this, uh, this bad, <laughs> um, I hope that for those of you who are discouraged right now, or who are pre-surgery and are having doubts or aren't sure if you're going to be able to be successful or aren't sure if it works, if I can do it, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Honestly. And especially for those of you who weigh three or four hundred pounds plus and feel like you don't belong in the community sometimes or like you're still on the outside, there is hope even for us. <laughs> there is. I'm not where I want to be yet, but I'm so much further along than where I started. I have to appreciate how far I've come instead of just looking at how far I still have to go. And I do. I really do. I really do today. And I appreciate all, oh God, I appreciate all of you guys for uh, supporting me and sticking with me and for being honest with me and for your words and your amazingness. Uh, this community has been a huge part in how I got to where I am today and how I'm going to get to my ultimate goal and so I want to thank all of you for that and I've cried for eight minutes now so I'm going to say goodbye but seriously remember to appreciate every step in your journey. I love you guys.